Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. Today we've got a pretty cool build. I reached out to a bunch of the guys on Facebook and YouTube that do customizations and do uh, restorations and like that on their YouTube pages. And on these guys were just getting started doing the, uh, the videos on YouTube. Well, I wanted to give folks a chance to have the same opportunity that I did to be able to do a build off, draw people to their page, build up their subscribers, and again, it would uh, encourage them to, to continue and to have fun doing this hobby like I did. And I wanted to uh, pay forward the opportunity to enjoy the hobby as we know it. Well, today we've got a JDM car, or Japanese Domestic Market, and the theme here is pizza. So we're going to wind up having to make a pizza delivery vehicle. Well, I chose this Datsun wagon. Let's get started. And here are your participants in this build-off challenge. We got the die-cast sheriff. He uh, does some wonderful builds, and all these folks have a YouTube page, so please check them out. Jim Silva, fantastic builder, new to the fray, but has been doing customs for a long time. Double B's Customs, brand new YouTube page. Matchbox Mark, we'll be doing more build-offs with him. Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers, Andrew, a Canadian over in Switzerland. Check him out. Irie Diecast, my Jamaican friend. Grizz at Big Paws Garage. And John Sellers, he has a YouTube page also. There'll be a link in the comments section. Please check them all out. This car only has one rivet, and I went ahead and drilled it out. Now, the wheels on here are real riders, so I'm going to be using these again because they're pretty darn cool once I figure out how to get the base off this thing. You just don't want to drill too deep on your post because you want to be able to screw it back together when you're done and you don't want to bend the wheels. Well, there is a little place in front where the radiator goes, and you can fit a screwdriver right in there. There you go. Twist that bad boy, and it comes apart. This is a brand new vehicle, so here's the body, and here's the base with the real riders. Those are in excellent shape. The interior is what it is and the windshield and like that those are in good shape so we won't have to change anything there all right let's continue on i got the car out of the paint stripper now this thing has mirrors on the fenders i have always disliked the mirrors on the fenders and there's a few cars out there that come like that like this maverick for instance i don't like the mirrors on there but that's my little little thing there but I'm gonna go ahead and take the mirrors off this Datsun wagon and make it flat like I did on the one side there I'm gonna remove that one also all right they're both gone now I filed them down I sanded them down got it the way I want to let's go ahead and get ready for some paint looking good here I've sprayed the body with some Tamiya white primer. Now we're going to use this purple, this pearlized plum purple, and we're going to cover the entire vehicle in the purple. That's going to look really nice. I've already got it all mixed up. Let's go ahead and spray it, and I'll we'll get right back to you. So here's the pearl purple. Man, do these Createx paint Createx paint slate look really sweet. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put some black shading on the car, but I'm going to use a pearl black. It's more like a real dark gunmetal gray, but it's going to complement the colors here because I'm kind of going with the diecast graveyard thing, you know, death and dismemberment and all that stuff. There we go. Still got the purple but I got that pearl black on there. And this is a pretty cool paint. I plan on using this quite a bit more on some of the upcoming builds that I have. That's looking good. Well, once this sets for a bit, then we're gonna be ready to put some decals on. And I had my buddy, Kenny Terry, make me a really nice set of decals. 
Meanwhile, back in the graveyard. We'll put the stripe down the center. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell to be alerted to any future videos that come out. Also, to remind you, in the comments there will be a link to all the other guys participating in this build. I recommend that you go to their pages, look at their builds, and subscribe to them, and give them a big thumbs up. Because that, that's the whole purpose of this build here, folks, is to let the folks, let you folks know that there's other builders out there and what they can do. Now these decals were produced by my buddy Kenny Terry at KennyTerry.com. He's my go-to guy when it comes to building, uh, when I go to build cars and I need decals and like that. He does awesome work and he gets it out to you quick. So check out Kenny Terry at KennyTerry.com. It'll take a little bit of time to smooth this out and let it dry, but we got other decals to put on. Here we're going to put the one on the hood. Now here we go. Graveyard Pizza. It's to die for. That was my little, my little joke there. Graveyard Pizza. I just couldn't see taking regular Pizza Hut stickers and putting them on there. I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's, uh, we're, we're not really doing a lot of modifications to these cars, at least I'm not doing it, but uh, I wanted to uh, make something special for this pizza build, so I put my own little touches on there, and Kenny made me some awesome decals, and that's what I'm putting on there. That's going to be cool. We'll get that smoothed out, and we'll start putting on the other decals, too. I'll do my best to get them straight. Squeegee out the rest of the water with that Q-tip. And then we'll let it dry, and then we'll get them clear-coated. Here's the decal for the door. Again, Graveyard Pizza. Now this explains the zombie and the... Uh, skull with the pizza there in the very beginning of the video. Now one of the things to be careful of when you're going to do these things and put your decals on is once you get them in place and then you flip the car around and you go to put the decals on the other side, if you happen to be holding the car, check the other side when you're done to make sure you didn't move the decals. Okay, they're all on there, and it's all been clear-coated. Now it's ready to put back together. So let's get our assembly done and do our reveal. Looking good. <laughs> Someone is being exhumed. <laughs> and here's what we started with. We got this Datsun B510 wagon. It's got the really nice real riders on there, part of the 50th anniversary edition, but they make some really nice customs. I, like I said, I removed the mirrors off the front fenders. We stripped the paint, we repainted it, and it turned out really awesome. And here's what we got to. Graveyard Pizza. It's to die for. Now what's really cool about this build, folks, is one of my lucky subscribers, and that could be you, are going to own this car. All I need you to do is give it a thumbs up in the comments section, give it a thumbs up, and write the word pizza. That's all you have to do. Give it a thumbs up and write the word pizza. And then in about two weeks time, we're going to be doing a drawing here, and one of you lucky folks is going to win this car. Now, the lights, the, the paint on the lights that I put on there overlapped a little bit. I did go in and fix it, and it looks a lot better. But you can own this car, and I'll send it to you with a die-cast graveyard decal. Join the team. You'll be helping out my YouTube page by helping me with my supplies. Now, all the donations that are made go towards the supplies. I don't put any in my pocket. It helps keep the YouTube channel going. Now what you'll receive, 
See videos at least a day or more in advance. You'll have personal advice from, from me for your own diecast hobby. I'll be available for video one-on-one -on -one help if you need it. Prize drawings once a month, exclusive custom offers only available to members, and many, many more offers. So please become a member of the Patreon team. I'd like to thank my current Patreon team members, Grim Reaper Level, William K7 Robinson, Dale Johnson, Ed Ostrander, and Richard Reese. Fantastic folks, thank you guys so much for your help. Mortician Level, Jake Rademacher, Ray Berger, Air Warrior Coffee Company, Ricky Montalvo, and Jason Warren. For Funeral Director Level, Double B's Customs, check out his Facebook page. Diecast Sheriff, he's got a great YouTube page, check it out. He's got some great videos. And Dave Christensen. Gravedigger Level, Aaron Murphy, Leroy, Andrew Hitchens, John Sellers, check out his YouTube page. Bob DeNice, Les Jenkins, Wade Hendricks, Trevor DeViz, Grizz Flowers, Bearcat Designs 3D Printing, check him out. Chris Decker, Keith Kripe, Johnny Hicks, and my little buddy William, Stacy Wright, Ryan Goldstein, Richie Ramos, new member, thank you so much, Ralph O'Neill Jr., Michael Oxley, John Homan, thank you gentlemen so much. Paul Bearer Level, Mr. Gary Tasker, thank you so much, sir, for your generosity. My hearse drivers, Jim Silva, check out his YouTube page. Richard over at Michio Woods Garage, check out his Facebook page. He sells a lot of Hot Wheels. If you got something you're looking for, check him out. Mr. Daryl Begtel, a really good builder. Ronald Raby, Tony Hughes in the UK. Stephen Terrence, Diecast Pirate, Pin Tony. Scott Turner, and Mr. Pete Langford. Guys, I can't thank you enough for your generosity and your help on the Diecast Graveyard Patreon page. If you want to be a member, go to the link in the comments section. Join the team today. We'd love to have you be a member of the team. Thank you for joining Diecast Graveyard today for this build-off. Now, there, there are no winners when it comes to this build-off. Now, you might like some build off cars better than others and that's good and it's cool give them a thumbs up please check out their youtube pages uh, in the comment section i'll leave links for them and if you have to just copy the link and paste it up above and go to their pages but uh it's been a lot of fun and i hope you get a chance to go to their pages and subscribe they're really good builders they're up and coming on their youtube page and they do some fantastic work this is Paul for Diecast Graveyard. Thank you again, and we'll have many more things coming up. we got that 4,000 subscriber draw coming up very soon, and uh, some other prizes that we're going to be giving away. So cheers and have a great day.